a very good morning, I guess, to everybody who is at the For Britain conference today. I hope you're having a great day and everything so far has worked out perfectly well. I am very sorry that I am not there with you today. Uh, as I sit here, I am looking out over the New Jersey shoreline. I'm here in New Jersey, just outside of New York, uh, helping to campaign at grassroots level uh, for support for Trump. We have just uh, as it stands today, 360 days until we need Donald Trump back in the White House. Uh, so here helping energize people uh, to kind of keep fighting uphill, which is something I think we all feel uh, a sense of understanding on both sides of the Atlantic, because truly this is an uphill struggle we are against. I can't tell you the number of people that I say, yes, we just need to remember we will always be fighting uphill and we just need to prepare ourselves for that and reset ourselves for that fight. Um, so I do apologise that I am not with you. I'm not sat in my home in my pyjamas. I am hard at work on the road as per. Um, and to make up for the fact that I am not there with you, uh, we are going to have a special event that will be on the 3rd of December. Uh, it will be in Birmingham, uh, one of my favourite locations maybe. And uh, we're going to call the event Offensive uh, because I plan to be. So if you can make it on the 3rd of December, I would love to see you there. And of course, that event is open to everybody. Liberals, Greenies, uh, Remainers, I think we can expect to see them all there outside protesting. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, I think that really important things about events like today is that uh, you can all look around that room and realise that you're not alone. You know, you belong to something much bigger, whether that's for Britain or any of the other hundreds and thousands of people who, who are out there who think the way you think or, or think some of the things you think or wish they could say stuff, but no, they can't say it. You know, you are legion in number. And that's shown by the amount of support people like me get out and about on the streets or online or social media or whatever. And I'm truly grateful for that support all the time. I think it's the, the kind of energy that drives us all because this is tough sometimes. Um, one of the really great things I think about uh, them coming after me in many regards. So they come for my jobs and they've taken all of those. Uh, they come for my children, they report my children to social services um, and social services have to come and check on my children. They came from my family home, I had to sell that to settle the lawfare against me and I guess a couple of jihadis came from my head. Uh, but one of the very great things about them uh, coming for those things, taking some of them, uh, leaving others, my head, my children, um, is that it's very freeing. You know, I'm in the fortunate position of being free from all those things that other people need to protect. So when people say to me, well, what can I do? What can I do to help move this thing along? What do I do? My thing is always that what you do is support people whose heads are above the parapet. People like me, people like Anne-Marie, uh, people at For Britain, people in all sorts of uh, realms who are able to speak out. Supporting those people is incredibly helpful and it helps move us all forwards. Um, I know that at the moment it feels very like we live in an entirely mad world uh, where left is right and up is down and man is woman and woman is man and we're supposed to buy into all that. We don't have to. We can just recognise that the world is mad but when you look around the room today you see that there are an increasing number of sane people who are like this kind of steel in the heart of our country and those people aren't going away even if you can't hear them they're there so please know that you're many you know you belong to something that is a really big family and we are all fighting from Hong Kong to here on the New Jersey shoreline to uh, the For Britain conference today to the bottom pointy bit of Cornwall there's people who are on our side and on our team so we are we are a big team and I think the more that we can work together, that's a truly great thing. So in essence, thank you uh, very much for your support for the event for today. Uh, I apologise that I am not with you. Uh, please know I am not sitting on my sofa. Um, 
I will be at the event on the 3rd of December and it will be offensive, which I think is necessary, like a medicine before Christmas, especially if you've got it with the in-laws. Um, and I look forward to seeing you there. Until then, have a great day today. And remember that you matter, your voice matters. And even if you can't speak out, the thing that matters most of all is knowing what you think, being clear about what you know, resisting this total bombardment of what you're supposed to think and say and being willing to support others who are right up there on the front line. So I wish you all well and I'll see you very soon.